You might like to just bring your attention into the body, maybe visualize dropping an anchor or just settling or landing into this place that we call practice. You might take your attention underneath the body to the feeling of the ground, warm or cold, clean or dirty, whatever you notice. Maybe just relaxing the shoulders, any small adjustments, acknowledging any discomfort in the body. We'll take our arms down by the side. When our next breath comes, lift up. Sense of welcoming in. And then turning the palms and sinking down. Listening for the breath. When it comes, turn the palms up. And when you're at the top of the breath, let it go. One more time. Let's bring our fingers together, interlace the fingers, roll the wrist. And we'll draw the hands in towards the body. As we sigh out, tuck your chin and press forward, curling the spine. Inhale back up. New breath. And then sink again. One more time. This time as we come up tall, we're going to turn the hands and push up. Take both hands behind the body. Let's interlace again and extend the hands low, draw the shoulders in. And when you're ready, we'll roll the shoulders both ways. All right. Let's roll onto our hands and knees. You might like to just sway a little for a moment. And then we're going to press straight up into our first downward facing dog. Take your time, spread your fingers. Hands are shoulder width apart, feet are hip width apart. Take your time to set up. You might like to pedal through one leg and then the other. Tailbone is rising up. Let's roll forward into a plank. Maybe your knees come down, maybe not. We'll sigh out, chaturanga all the way down. Inhale to lift. Let's curl the body up. And then we'll tuck the toes, lift up again, meet in our down facing dog. When you're ready, same again, breathing in, roll forward, sighing out, extending down. Inhale, baby cobra or full up dog. And then tucking the toes, returning. Let's take our right foot, reach it up, take a breath in. As we sigh out, we're going to roll forward, knee to chest. Inhale, pressing back up. Exhale, draw forward. One more time. This time we're going to take the leg up, draw the foot into the sit bone, maybe some circles with the knee. And when you're ready, we're going to swing that leg wide and take it outside the right hand.
We're in a deep lizard lunge. You might like to extend your back leg a little further. And when you're ready, reach behind with the right hand. Maybe we're going to find that foot. Draw the knee in, draw the foot in. You might like to look around. We're in our monkey, our handyman pose. Take a breath here. And when you're ready, drop the hand down, bring drop the foot down, bring the hand back. We're going to extend that leg back up high, draw it back to the floor, roll forward into a plank, thigh up. Take a new breath, lifting, reaching up, and sighing out. This time our left leg reaches up, take it up high. As we sigh out, knee to the chest. Inhale, lifting, reaching up. Let it go. One more time. As our foot comes back up, let's draw the foot to the tailbone, open through the knee, small circles. And then when you're ready, we'll swing that left leg wide, step it outside the head, drop the back knee there. Think into this deep sensation into the hip. Let's extend out. We're going to reach behind, draw the foot in. Maybe take a side, maybe look back. And when you're ready, foot can come down, hand comes back. And then we'll step behind, reach up. And hand comes to mat. Let's walk the feet towards the hands. Take your time. And we're going to arrive at the top of the mat. Take a side. Let's bring a twist in. Rolling the right arm up, reach it high. And bring it back down, left arm, straighten the left leg. And then let's keep going side to side. Stacking the shoulders, reaching the arm up. Maybe one more time each side. And we'll sigh out. Maybe a little ragdoll side to side. Tailing the spine up, let's come up all the way. Rolling the shoulders when you get there. All right, let's step behind with our left leg. We'll come into a bow stance, so our front knee is stacked over the ankle. Back toes turned in just a little. And we'll extend our arms out into warrior shape. Sink down if you can. Sink the shoulder blades down. And you have that sensation of drawing the thighs in a little, pressing through the feet, pressing through the toes. Deep sigh. Let's flip our plank hand. We're going to inhale and reach that hand over the head. As we sigh out, elbow to the knee. Maybe not resting it, maybe holding it just there. Let's take that big long line down the back of the body, reaching up, breathing in. And then we'll sigh out back to our warrior two. Let's keep going. Let's find a flow with this. Inhale, lifting back. Exhale, letting go. Take a breath, pushing up. Exhale, returning. One more time.
We will nail the hands all the way down. Let's frame that foot and drop the knee. Our right hand will come up. We're easing into a twist. And then we'll bring that hand back to the ground. Step forward. Come up halfway. Take a breath. And then let it go out. We'll reach up, lift up. And sigh out, hands to heart center. I'm stepping the right foot behind. Take your time. Make sure you feel that stability in your lower body before you float up the arms. Think down again. Press through the feet, press through the ball of the foot, the heel. Deep connection with the ground. When you're ready, flip the front hand. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, elbow to me. Take a breath, press your hand past the ear, reaching all the way up. And letting go, windmill back up. Let's find that rhythm again. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling and breathing out. Do two more times. Let's find your own rhythm here, bending through the body. We'll windmill all the way back down to the ground. Let's take our left arm up this time, reach up into a twist. Hand comes back down. Let's step that foot to the back of the mat. Tailbone comes up. And then we'll drop the knees down and come into a full child's pose. Let your whole body be heavy. You might like to just feel the belly expand, breath coming from within. And we'll slowly bring the hands back, walk them forward. Let's extend the tailbone up. We'll walk the feet towards the hands. Take slow steps, as much time as you need. When you get close to the hands, you might take a big side, wrap the arms behind the body, interlace the fingers, draw the palms together. Maybe sink a little deeper. And when you're ready, arms can come down. We'll slowly curl the spine up. And we'll roll the shoulders. We'll step behind again. Let's take our left foot back. Find that bow stance, pressing through the feet, raising the inner arches of the feet. We'll float the arms up. This time we're gonna go into Trikonasana. So straighten the front leg, feel the hip pulling back as you reach forward with the front arm. And then when you feel steady, just slowly float the arms down. Don't need to reach the ground, just bring your lower arm in, maybe resting on the inner shin, upper arm reaching up. Can you stack your shoulders? Can you roll that top shoulder back a little further? Take a breath or two. Allow yourself to be in this deep stretch. 
And when you feel ready, let's slowly curl back up. Just like before, we'll flip the hand, reach behind. Exhale, elbow towards the knee, reach that back arm up as the new breath comes. And then hands down to the mat. We'll take our twist again, right arm reaching up. Exhale, hand to the mat. Step forward, come up halfway, take a breath. And letting go. Inhale, reach up all the way, lifting up. And palms to heart center. Let's step behind with our right foot this time. We're back in our bow stance, sink into it, float the arms up, sink the shoulders. Let's straighten that front leg again. Feel the hip pulling back, feel the arm reaching forward. We're slowly coming into our triangle shape on the other side. Stink into it. And you stack your shoulders. You might take two more breaths here. When you're ready, bend the front knee, slowly coming back up with control. We'll flip the hand, take a breath, and let it go. Breathing in, pressing past the ear, reaching out, and all the way back, returning. Let's win the other hands all the way down. We'll drop the back knee. We'll lift the left arm in a twist, reach it up. Exhale, hand to the mat, stepping forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Let's heel toe our feet just a little wider. Toes end up on the outside. Let's draw up the tailbone down. We're coming into a squat. You might like to bring hands between the knees. See if you can just feel that belly expand into the thighs again. Sense of breath coming from within. Take one more breath here. And then we'll drop down into our sit bones. We're coming to Navasana, our boat pose. So we're drawing our knees together. Roll back onto the very base of your tailbone, extend your arms out. You might like to take your feet a little higher, maybe. Keep breathing. And you sink a little deeper, maybe. And when you're ready, let's roll back up. We'll take our legs wide this time. Walk the hands forward and just take a deep sigh. You might curl the toes in a little more. Let's bring our right foot into our left thigh. We're going to roll our left arm down the body, elbow just inside the knee. And then if you feel like it, maybe reach the other arm over the top. Let it go. Let's take that arm over the head. We're going to lift the tailbone, reaching up. Another big long line down the side of the body. Whole practice, we're walking on our gallbladder meridian. Drop the tailbone down, let's switch to the other side. Drawing the foot into the thigh, come up tall as you can, sigh out. Maybe supporting hand reaches over. Sink into it. We'll take our hand over the body, windmill up, reach up, lift up.
and come in all the way down. We'll roll over our knees. So let's come up into one more downward facing dog. This time, right knee is going to come up to right wrist. Sink your elbows down. Maybe the whole head might come down onto the arms. You want a deep sensation here into the hip joint. Let's drop onto our sit bone. We're going to come up tall and then turn our toes up, reach across, twisting the body. And all the way back, all fours, lifting again. We're going to take left knee up to left wrist, folding onto that shape, sinking down. And just like we did on the other side, roll back onto the sit bone, turn the toes up, reaching across the body. And we'll untangle. Let's lift up one last time. This time we're going to walk the hands back towards the feet. And we'll sigh out, come down into one last squat. Drop the tailbone down, sink into it, maybe hands come to heart center. And when you're ready, just drop down. We're going to come down onto our mat all the way down. You might like to take one hand on each knee and just open through the hips. And we're going to take a bit of a figure four. So mate, let's do left foot over right leg, reaching the right leg up. Keep the lumbar spine heavy on the mat. Let's take a breath in, press through that foot, press towards the ceiling, and then sigh out, maybe draw that leg in a little more. Maybe one more time, breathing and pushing up. Exhale, drawing in. And we'll untangle the legs. Let's go straight to the other side. Flex the foot. Take a breath in, press up. And letting go. One more time. And we'll untangle the legs. One more roll through the hips. Keeping your spine heavy, let's reach in between the legs. We're going to find our happy baby. It might be shins, it might be ankles, maybe a little rock side to side. And then from here, we're going to do a little bit of Bicycle riding, just drawing the knees in and pedaling out. Lumbar spine is heavy. Notice if there's much of a curl in your spine. See if you can flatten it down. You can pedal in either direction. Noticing that engagement in the muscles in the belly. 
Let's take a few scissors. We'll take one leg up, one leg down. And then switch from side to side. One more each way. All right, let's take our left knee into the chest, right knee, right leg long. And we'll extend the left arm out. Let's slowly draw the knee across the body. Take your time. Keep the shoulder heavy if you can. Deep sigh. Let's roll back onto the side, stand the leg long, and then we'll switch straight to the other side. So hand to the knee, slowly draw it across. Ease into the twist. And when you're ready, extending the legs along. One last thing, we're going to take our feet to the mat and arms down by the side. Walk your fingers towards the heels. Take a breath. We're going to lift the tailbone, pressing up. Draw the hands in under the body. Draw the shoulders towards each other. Let's see if we can keep this shape for a moment or two. In your chin, feel the thighs drawing towards each other, maybe the sit bones drawing in at the back. Keep breathing. You're ready, slowly curling back down. Today, we're not going to do a shavasana, we're going to draw our knees in our chest and you might like to press down into the ground, roll the body onto the shoulders, and then let's take some rock and rolls. We're massaging the spine, rolling from shoulder to sit bone. And you can take as many of these as you like. Feeling into the connection with the ground. Maybe one more. And we'll come back up to our seated position. You might like to roll the shoulders. Maybe take the chin to the shoulder and then all the way around. And maybe take a big circle with your nose, drawing the nose out, up, out and down. Both directions. Let's bring our palms together. As always, just a short moment in gratitude for our choice to practice today. And then as we always do, let's say namaste and bow to each other.